You know that feeling you get when you're away from home and you're having an awesome time, but then a member of your family does something that not only ruins the fun, but completely turns your entire life upside down? And no, I'm not talking about Lydia, somewhat surprisingly. Our current predicament is the fault of none other than our dear mother, who is literally hundreds of miles away. My name is Susie Bennett, and mom blew up the house. So let me clarify, mom didn't literally blow up the house. But she did decide that our beloved childhood home was due for a remodel, something about home values and stuff. Which could mean that we're selling the house. Which would suck. I think it's so ironic that in order to sell a house, you have to inject tens of thousands of dollars into it. Totally bass backwards. Anyway, so what happens to us now? We are now homeless. Well. Not at the moment, but in a week, we will be. God, do you ever stop talking to that thing? It's VidCon. If there was ever a place where it was okay to talk to a camera, it's here. Nerd, come with me and have some freaking fun! Okay. Shouldn't you be freaking out about our impending homelessness? Whatever, I already talked to mom about it and she's got it covered. Oh, hey! What does that mean? We're gonna go stay with Mary. Who's Mary? Our cousin, Mary and her parents. Oh, yeah. I always forget about Mary. Wait, uh, are we all staying at Mary's? Yes, it's gonna be so fun. But they, they don't exactly have a big house. That's okay, it'll be awesome. Aren't you excited? Yes. Oh my God, me too. I'm gonna go to the exhibit hall and get her a present. Wah! Lydia clearly hasn't thought this through. Mary lives with her mother in a very cozy house. Cozy, meaning small. Best case, I'll end up sleeping on a couch. Or more likely, Jane gets the couch and I end up sleeping in a room with Lydia for Two weeks! Curse you, Charlotte, and your family. No, I, I know, you live in a small apartment with your family. It's just... Lizzie? Hey. Sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Living at Cousin Mary's means doubling your commute every morning. Oh, actually, I'm not going to be staying with Mary. Why not? I told Bing what was happening, and he offered to let me stay with him. No, 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 not in his room. <laughs> in one of his guest rooms. We have to keep it respectful after all. It's not like we're engaged. God forbid. Oh my gosh, I should ask him to let you stay. He has several extra rooms. Oh, I am not sure if I want to do that. Oh, you want to stay with Mary? No. Okay then, give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Interesting. So, mom has the house remodeled out of the blue, effectively making all of us, but specifically Jane, homeless, dooming her to cramped living quarters and a lengthy commute to work. But then, miraculously, Bing Lee rides in on his white stallion and offers Jane sanctuary at his Netherfield mansion. Talk about a convoluted plan. Bing said you are welcome to stay with us. Of course he did. So you're coming, right? This is going to be so much fun. I don't know about fun, but I do know it'll really upset Mom if I stay with you. Oh, I can tell Bing no then. No, no. I'm definitely staying with you. Oh, good. What do we tell mom? Forget about mom, Jane. You and I are going to Netherfield. Oh.